we're back with uh, our Check Your Local IQ segment and our food contributor with Local IQ magazine is the very stylish Justin De La Rosa. <laughs> I like that jacket. Look at this. Thank you. Check Thank it you. out. I might have to buy it's that, buy a little that different. or borrow it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that is different. Where do you find yeah. something like that? Uh, just online. Yeah. I, yeah. So <laughs> saw a picture of somebody else wearing it, searched for it, found there it. There you go. That happened. Like Frontiers people. of fashion. Yes. Yeah, it is. Well, good to see you. Good to see you as well. Thank you. So uh, today I'm bringing on uh, Ryan Jameson from uh, Bosque Brewing Company. Fantastic. Um, that's my most recent um, uh, food review in this local IQ that's out right now. And yeah, so I um, just want to introduce him. Hey, to Ryan, you guys. how are you? Hello. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you for having me. And you've brought us some goodies here. Oh, yes, yeah. I thought that <laughs> liquor wasn't quite enough. We need to start off with a little bit of beer as well. Helps that liquor it's, go down. It's a I real heard it was my birthday yesterday, so just figure, it's a you know. Coincidence. It's a party <laughs> show. And, and Greg, we're on in the same day, but hey, we're not complaining. <laughs> oh, it definitely go along you. well. Tell us about Bosque Brewing. Well, uh, we are a, uh, a brewery that has been open for about six months. Oh, um, new. We've been uh, we've been enjoying a very uh, grateful success, and we are a few months away from expanding. Um, so by by Balloon Fiesta uh, this year, we will be uh, three times larger in our capacity, and also uh, more than doubling our production uh, capabilities. So. so tell us, what was your inspiration to start your own brewery? Well, uh, it all started with the uh, three guys initially, um, my brother and uh, two other gentlemen. Uh, for years, they had been uh, successful businessmen in other fields and good friends, and they got together. They said, you know, we really want a business, and they kind of toyed with a few ideas, and mm -hmm. they, ke they came up with, uh, you know, one mutual passion, which was craft beer, and so they decided is a little backwards because they decided to learn how to make beer and then you know apply that into a, a business model uh, I joined in because I'd been a, a, a bartender for uh, many years and my experience in the restaurant industry uh, lent itself well but as uh, time progressed I started brewing along with uh, Gabe Jensen our, our head brewer and so now there's a total of five of us owners and uh, a, a few of us brewers and uh, we're just really enjoying it well, fantastic. It sounds like it's going great. Yes, yes. Well, we're, while we're talking beer, we're going to show some images. You also serve food at the restaurant. Absolutely. Too, the, the brewery. That's, uh, Justin came in and uh, enjoyed a few of our options. And uh, along with our expansion, we'll also be expanding our menu. So you're going to have to come back in and, and try a few more uh, uh, items out. But I'm not opposed to that. <laughs> we, uh, you know, you, you don't, we didn't start this knowing that the food would be uh, quite such an emphasis, but it's really turned into uh, an important part of the Bosque uh, feel and experience. We really are proud of the, the menu that we've put together. Well, fantastic. Are you expanding your current restaurant? Are you actually moving another well, location? Well, we've gone through, uh, you know, trying to decide what the best thing to do at this point is, but what we've finally landed on is, uh, is expanding our current location, and we'll worry about a second location uh, further on down the line. Not to take Good. away from the beer, but this looks like uh, some kind of sausage oh, sandwich yes. with a pretzel roll. Yeah, it's the, <laughs> Am I right? Delicious. The pretzel brat sandwich. It's oh a, my uh, gosh, does that look incredible? Did you get to try this? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, it's a Looks yeah, good. it's a jalapeno cheddar bratwurst. Oh my and, god, uh, <laughs> just on that pretzel roll. It's, once once you start yeah. in on it, you're like, well, I'm, I'm gonna need a second one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. Where else do you get that, man? And here's uh, here's an image of some of the the beers that. Uh, you feature oh, yeah. on it. Here's our, yes, if you walk in to the brewery, you'll see the board up there in front uh, featuring our, our seasonals. We also have uh, six staples that are always available. So at any given time, there might be between 10 and 12 different brews uh, available to you. We try to have a little bit of something for everyone. And okay. what's your adoption brew? Well, it's a, uh, it's a program we've kind of committed to. Um, we every month we dedicate one of our brews to uh, a charity. Uh, typically, uh, this month it's a leukemia and lymphoma uh, research and, and uh, development uh, program. But also, uh, what we what we've committed to is donating to the ABBA Foundation, oh. which is a uh, it's a it's a uh, uh, group that helps facilitate adoptions uh, for. Uh, for families that uh, would be great homes, but just need a little bit of help financially or organizing the adoption mm -hmm. uh, process. So um, 
it's it's close to our hearts. Uh, there's a lot of adopted uh, children in in the ownership group, but it's also just something we like to do to kind of connect to the and community. Stay involved with the community. Yeah, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's great. Let's do this. We got a really interesting uh, promotional video you guys <laughs> created. Yes. And I want to we'll roll that, and then when we come back, we'll open some of this beer. What do you what do you say? Sounds but good this to is me. a little. Yeah little dig at the big competition. <laughs> right, right. As, well, what we've... Uh, as we, well, let's just take a look at it. Here we sounds go. Sounds good. <laughs> to tell you the truth, Bless it's you. tough being the beer. I don't even like this beer. Nobody does, really. <laughs> but it brings courage. <laughs> if you need it. I don't know. Maybe it's this cape. <laughs> and these rugged good looks. <laughs> People love me. Some beer companies claim to be the kings of the craft. They need me. It comes with a title. Kings are annoying. Flavor is boss. <laughs> Bosky Brewing Company. <laughs> Oh yeah! All right, that's hilarious. <laughs> the beer king. Well, it's uh, you know the the beer uh, craft beer community here in Albuquerque is a really thriving, healthy, uh, really cool scene. And one of the one of the uh, emphasis is that we put on on our business is to kind of take some of the the power away from the big three. We're talking Coors and and, and Miller and Budweiser. You know they. Uh, they're companies that have done great things for themselves, but we just want to kind of, it's a dig on, on that beer king concept, <laughs> that there's such a wide world of beer out there. And, uh, and so you don't really have to go to the, just those three standards to, sure. to, you know, you're missing out if you, if you don't see the wide world of craft beer. So uh, and that's why, I mean, we have so many great local breweries. Oh man. I mean, if, if you're not trying out local beers, you're missing out. And I just want to emphasize, it's it. There is something for everyone out there. T today, I brought uh, an IPA, an Indian Pale Ale. I brought a Hefeweizen and a, uh, a porter. So something on the darker scale, something all the way on the other side uh, with the Hefeweizen is very light and uh, floral almost. Uh, I'm, I'm only speaking on Justin's behalf, but let's try some. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> I won't Morning brew again. Uh, here we go again. <laughs> well, I think the guys in the back already tried some. <laughs> <laughs> is that why everyone's having such a good time? Yeah, cocktails and a nice beer to start the morning off. So this is our Hefeweizen. I'll, I'll nice. hand this one to you. Okay. This is a very uh, agreeable summer brew. Um, it's uh, heavy on its wheat. Uh, it's actually named uh, in Angano, which is uh, Ugandan for wheat. Uh, uh -huh. One of our adopted uh, kids in the family uh, has, uh, from Uganda, so we decided to commemorate that with, Fantastic. with that name. Um, like it. That's really easy like to it, sit down and, really and enjoy the sunset on a warm summer we day. Do this every morning. Yeah. <laughs> it's getting to be a thing. Yeah. I'm okay with it. I think Larry said he knows a wine guy or two. So. Yeah, I do. Yes. You know. Well, so. and it's like they say, beer isn't just for breakfast. So. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> uh, here's a uh, here's our Ember IPA. It's uh, that's nice looking. It's a conventional American. Uh, style Indian pale ale, so you get a lot of that floral now, this is more note. My style here, yeah, like it's this. got a great aroma, um, and we try to at, at Bosque. We definitely try to emphasize That's flavor nice. over anything else. So um, yeah. it has a nice clean finish too on it. Absolutely. Nice. Now, where are you guys located? Uh, we're on San Mateo, just north of Alameda. Uh -huh. uh, San Mateo is a tricky street; throws people off sometimes because it stops at Osuna and uh -huh. starts up again. But it, yeah, well, really easy access for my 25 uh, exit on the Alameda going east, and uh, San Mateo is the first north major north street you can take, and we're just right there. And one of the really cool things about you guys, you have live music a lot there too. Absolutely, we're doing uh, Monday uh, night live music. We had a huge show last night. One of the reasons we're so excited to expand is that for these busy weekends and busy live music nights, we're getting packed to the point where we can't legally put any more people in there. Right. So we're, we're happy to be expanding and, and get even larger groups in there and join the, the great local musicians. And the food is good too. Huh? Yes, absolutely.